Hello everyone, Brayden here with Red Mountain Reptiles. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, my collection, my reptile room tour. Uh, there aren't very many reptile shows coming up that I can attend uh, in Florida, so, uh, probably not till uh, mid-July. So I'll be adding videos every week. Um, my reptile room tours, had a few reptiles, I do stuff like that. Uh, until the next reptile session, I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so this is a creamsicle motley corn snake, adult female. I got this from... Lee Abbott, again, highly recommended breeder. I'd definitely check him out. Um, this snake is about four years old, and she will be one of my breeder females uh, for 2022. Uh, I did, however, I did pair her with a male I'm about to show you, uh, but he didn't, it, it didn't take, and they only locked up for like two minutes, and that's it, that's it as far as I know. Other than that, though, she eats really well. She's a gorgeous snake. She's just about to shed, though, so she is a little bit cranky. So I guess I won't pick her up for now, but, um, yeah, other than that, gorgeous snake, um, and, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so next up is this adult male, 2015 Okatee, uh, beautiful corn snake, he's a great male, uh, this year he didn't take with our females, but, uh, or, okay, well, one of our females, but, um, other than that, he's a great snake, he's very, well, uh, he was not brumated though, so that might be a reason why he didn't take this year, but we will brumate him this year, or this end of the year coming up, and we will, oh, he's angry, and we will, um, definitely get babies from him next year. Next up is this butter, I think it's a butter het motley, or maybe it is a butter motley, I can't remember, I got this snake, uh, maybe two, three years ago, so... Uh, it is breeding size, however, she can breed, um, but I'm going to wait till next year to breed her just so she gets a little bit more weight, and uh, yeah, she'll be a great snake to breed, she's albino, uh, and that's about it, she's a great snake though. Okay, so these next snakes are a pair of corn snakes, um, the one on top is the male, this is the um, Coral Snow uh, corn snake, It's and he's about two and a half years old. And the female under is just a regular Okatee. It's about three years old. And uh, I haven't seen too much breeding behavior. I mean, some twitching. Uh, but I haven't seen any uh, visual walks. But um, hopefully we'll get babies from them next year. It is a little too late to do it this year, though, since they neither of them were brumated. Uh, I'm going to brumate them this year, though. So, um, yep. Those are them. Okay, so this next male is a albino Nelson's milk snake, adult male. He is about two and a half, three years old. He's a big male. He'll definitely be a great breeder next year. Uh, hopefully, I'll have some females for him to breed with next year, depending on how uh, big they get. Um, but yeah, other than that, he's a great snake. Uh, and and I, I me I'm going to mention this probably a lot of videos, but uh, a lot of albino Nelsons uh, typically don't keep that white color. So what what they'll do usually is they won't keep that white color, and they'll mainly just turn yellow. Just be a yellow, and maybe a little bit of white. Uh, but this snake did not. This snake actually kept its white, and it has yellow bands, uh, which I thought was cool. Because, I mean, every, I mean, I'm not sure, 100% sure on this, but I, I mean, every, you know, every other uh, albino Nelsons I've ever seen is just, uh, it's just yellow and red. I've barely seen any white. Uh, and then any time I do, it's just a little bit of white. So, I thought this was cool. I thought I'd share this, too. Other than that, though, he's a great male. Okay, so this is a snake I got from the Tampa show. Um, I, I just made a video about that a week ago, or about a week ago, maybe a little less. Uh, I got this from the Tampa show. This, he's in shed right now, but this is a male extreme reverse Okatee het lava. Um, he's, a, he's an absolutely beautiful snake. Again, though, uh, he's not bright right now. He's actually very dull. He's, uh, he's like deep into zombie mode uh, in sheds. Uh, but I st he still has a really pretty snake. Um, he, he has a lot of white, a little bit of red, but a lot of white as well as a tail. Um, yeah, he's a really gorgeous snake. Again, this is another snake that was at the show. This is a palmetto corn snake that's head for coral snow. And I do have a coral snow male I showed in the video, but I don't know if she'll be ready next year. She's about seven, eight months old, I think. I'm pretty sure she's about seven, eight months old, so maybe if I power feed, but I really don't think that's a good idea, so... I don't think she'll be ready next year. She might, uh, but we'll see. I might still brumate her just to get her on that cycle with all the others. But uh, something interesting, actually, I just noticed is that... Uh, oh, she's in food mode. She's probably going to might strike at the camera. But uh, she's very... There are lots of spots all in her head and all the way around. And then this part, like, right... Like, 
right there um, is just white, nothing else, just pure white right there. And then it gets really busy again at the tail. Uh, so I thought that was really cool as well. I thought I'd share that too. Um, but this female will be a great breeder. Um, we, uh, we did get her from Lee. Um, so yeah. Uh, this next snake is a Extreme Reverse Lava Okatee. Uh, she's a really gorgeous snake. Uh, again, the camera in the last video as well will not focus on her because she's so tiny. She's like, uh, maybe just two, three months old. So she's really tiny. Um, but she's a gorgeous snake. She will make definitely pretty babies. Uh, maybe not next year, but the year after. Um, uh, but yeah, she's a beautiful snake. Definitely, uh, will be a great breeder for us. Okay, so this is a Albino Nelson's female het for splotch I got from Ward, actually. Um, uh, and this, this female, I think I will breed next year, because she is just chowing on food. So I think I definitely will breed her next year, because she's eating really well. Um, and, uh, yeah, she is het for splotch, and I need to get a male for her. Uh, next year, it's also a het for splotch I might breed her with, uh, depending on what I can find, maybe, depending if it even takes... But I still have my adult male too, so I can always breed. We'll still get all head uh or we'll get all binos and um uh head out and head uh what are they called? Head splotch too, so I thought that's pretty cool. So far she has not gained a ton of yellow. She has some strong yellow bands, but a lot of white too, so uh we'll see what she turns out to look like. Okay, so that'll pretty much wrap up the video too for today. Thank you for watching. Um I do have to mention before I end the video, um, the audio at the end, I do realize this, it is not good. The audio I just realized is bad, but I did just edit the entire video, so, uh, next video I'm gonna try to eliminate that, I'm gonna try to see what that was. Uh, hope you enjoyed everything, uh, my reptiles and stuff, um, I will be doing more rep Repticon walkthroughs and I'll be doing how-to videos, you know, how to, what write cages for babies, how to feed stubborn babies and stuff. Uh, I'll I'll definitely do videos like that in the future as well. Um, anyway, so thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.